All right, so uh, I did uh, buy an SD card here and it just plugs into the uh, board, but it won't plug in because it smashes into this, this big chip here. So you actually have to cut a little notch in the board. <laughs> There's nothing there. Just cut a notch in the board and then, it, and then it'll plug in because it, it, it has an inter interference fit with this big IC here. So you, you have to do that, but then it just plugs in. Make sure the board is to the right. There's actually a little uh, silk screen that shows you what side the board's supposed to be on. And that's all you do. Um, I did make one mistake and that is uh, this jumper here. Do not install that jumper. Um, but you need to set some other jumpers. So if you have the light configuration, which means you just have three chips, then you must solder these three. Can I zoom down farther? Uh, yeah, let's see here. So there's uh, this section here. There's a jumper here, jumper here, and jumper here, and they all have to be shorted out. So, uh, uh, and that's for the light configuration. If you don't have the, if you have the full configuration, then these are open. But for the light configuration, you need these jumpers. So read the uh, read the instructions well. Um, and then, like I said, this is for the uh, the serial port, and that's all you do. Uh, that's all that's all you need. Um, once it's up together, you hit the reset, and there's a user button, and I'll show you how to use those two um, when we get to the uh, get to the terminal. Uh, but yeah, let's hook it up and uh, boot boot up uh, boot up CPM. All right, I'm going to push the uh, reset button here. And there we go. Get a bunch of stuff. Oh, let's scroll back up, see what it said. Uh, 68K MBC, hmm, bunch of numbers, operating system. So the light hardware configuration was detected. That's when you just have three chips. I didn't load the other chips, so I have the light configuration. And you have to set some jumpers too. So you need to read the documentation, make sure you've got the right jumpers and stuff. And do not install the the J7 or A, what's it called? A something seven. Uh, it's right in the middle of the board. It's called uh, A17. Yeah. Do not, oh, it's called JP1. It's right next to A17, but it's called JP1. Do not install the jumper on JP1. That's a big no-no. <laughs> I did that once. Okay. So it boots up. It sees the... Um, it sees the SD card and it starts executing CPM and you have to set things up correctly. Okay. So we've booted it here. Let me do directory so you can just see that we, we, we are running um, CPM, but if you, if you press the reset button and then hold down the, hold down the user button. So I'm going to, I'm going to click one and I'm going to hold down the other one. You'll get this menu. It'll it'll be the boot sequences that you need. It's kind of like hitting F12 when you're booting Windows. So what you need to do is you need to set number four. Uh, so you can do that. Just click four, and it, it says that you're up and running. And the other thing you need to do is make sure that uh, CPM auto execute is off. Um, uh, and that's it. So number four and make sure number seven. So you can see here that it says, uh, change it to on. I don't want to change it to on. You need to have, make sure the auto execute is off. And, uh, and there you go. So, uh, I'll hit, I'll hit reset and we'll do the boot again. And now we're up in uh, CPM and there's not a lot of do, not a lot of things to do here. Uh, it does run CPM commands. Uh, let's see, stat question mark, or is it stat slash question mark, dash question mark, help, stat, I don't remember, I don't remember all of the stat commands, yeah, stat B, yeah, so there is, so there is a B, and there's stuff there, and there's a C, and there's stuff there, and there's a D, and there's stuff there, and there's an E, stuff there, and that's it. You get A, B, C, D, and E. A lot of stuff here in E. Anything interesting? I haven't really found like any real, like, no, no text editors, no games, no Microsoft Basic. It's like, I, 
it's like there's very very little in here. Here there's here's an assembler. Um, so the the um, programs that execute have a a, a dot sixty eight k at the end. So so really there's only one two different two different things here that are run. So dd d sixty eight thousand. I don't know what this is. Uh, well, there you go. It's something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All right, let me let me just boot back out of that. All right. Yeah, there's really not a lot of things to do. Size 68. Unable. Stat. More. Relocate. Pip. Dump. Ed. These are all just really, really basic commands. Um... user LED yeah there's this program called user LED that'll blink the LED on the on the board uh, I don't know it's just a demo I guess um, anyway there you go that's about it if anybody knows where to get actual application programs for CPM 68k like adventure or um, you know, um, uh, a, a word processor or uh, an Excel spreadsheet type thing or, you know, like anything, <laughs> anything um, I'd, I'd like to know. I looked all over the web and I can't, I can't just find anything. So anyway, there you go. Um, it is a really fun project and I, I enjoy putting it together. It's very retro, a little bit of cheating because you're using a pick processor and stuff, and it's the eight bit machine instead of sixteen bit machine. It's certainly sixteen or thirty two inside, but uh, eight bits on the outside. But it is very, very small and compact and easy, and um, the SD card thing works flawlessly. Um, so yeah, there you go. 